I honestly don't know how I feel about Fallout 76 yet. Today, I'm going to talk about the good things and the bad things, in my opinion, about this game. I've only put a few hours into it, so this is my pretty early on impressions. First, I'm going to talk about the good. Getting started in this game feels super strong. The character customization is a treat, but also the entire intro is kind of a treat. Now, once you get out of the intro, you are greeted by the world, and the world is truly beautiful. You are greeted by a lot of bright colors, a lot of open land that you just get to embrace and to explore. But most importantly, what's unique about this game is you also find other players running around. While I was actually doing a quest, I ran into another player and I wasn't using a mic and we just used the in-game features to communicate and I actually made a friend and had him follow me around for a little bit. Definitely a unique Fallout experience and definitely worth noting. Now, I just talked about quests. There are a lot of quests in this game, which is really cool. And I do appreciate the way that they're laid out. You are going to find a few side quests on your way to the main quest. And you can kind of bang those out on the way to the main quest. And it just gives you a lot of gameplay variety. And all the quests feel pretty rewarding too. You get a pretty good variety of resources from most of them too. And I do feel like the variety of objectives is pretty decent too. Now, along with the quests, it's also really fun to explore the actual buildings that are in this game because like they did in Fallout 4, they did an awesome job recreating some of these buildings that represent real life structures. I really enjoyed exploring places like factories, stores, houses. My favorite thing that I've seen so far in Fallout 76 was the airport. I thought that was really cool. So it does give me Fallout 4 vibes in that aspect. So it's such a vibe. But one thing that this game does a bit better than Fallout 4 is the actual map. So when you press pause, you're greeted by this beautiful map. And I am truly, truly impressed with it. I love the vibrancy of it. I also feel like it really represents the landscape well and it makes navigating pretty easy. There's also fast traveling. So I truly give this map a 10 out of 10. They did a perfect job with it. I would love to see this in future Fallout games, in my opinion. Now, this game also lets you skip all of the early grindy quests if you want, and you could jump right to level 20, where this game deems as more difficult content. So that's a cool feature for you Fallout veterans or MMO veterans. If you just want to jump right to it, you can. I chose not to just to experience the early game. This game truly has a lot of Fallout charm. And I, like I didn't spoil the intro, that is one of the best examples of it. It really does just feel like a Fallout game and there's a lot of really good references that you're gonna find all throughout your adventure. It's so fun to find an abandoned place and then find something in it that makes you smile, whether it's an Easter egg or a reference or even just something goofy. It is also fun to gather resources in this game to build things. I did not enjoy building at all in Fallout 4, but for me in 76, I am at least interested in it. So kudos to them. And I think they did an awesome job. Building itself also feels really smooth, just like laying things out, turning it, moving it up and down. I think they did a good job with that. This game also has a really interesting leveling up system. I really like the way they visually did it with the cards and the way you open them. And so far, I've had a blast just kind of getting new cards, replacing them with better ones, leveling them up. Um, and some of the cards are really cool. They offer some pretty cool skills. So definitely a cool one there. Overall, if you like MMOs, this is definitely an MMO. And it's a pretty good one at that. There is a lot of grinding, a lot of quests, and you'll see other players throughout your journey. And you're also gonna have a beautiful world to look at as you go through this. Now I'm going to get into the stuff that I feel is not so strong about this game. One thing that I personally don't like, and not all of you are going to dislike this, but I don't love that you always have to be connected to the internet for a game like this. That means there's no pausing, which I enjoy games that you can pause. But then along with that, the iconic VAT system just does not feel the same in this game due to the fact that you can't actually stop time. Um, so that's just something I thought was worth noting. This might be a hot take, but I feel like guns in this game feel even worse than they did in Fallout 4. And like I said in my video about Fallout 4, guns didn't feel very good in Fallout 4. So that again is worth noting. The guns in this game just don't feel super satisfying. Maybe using the melee weapons are better. Not sure I haven't tried that yet. You guys can let me know in the comment section. 
Now, speaking of the guns, I feel like the hit detection is also a bit off. Like, I will empty seven shots into an enemy, but it only takes three to take them down. But I had to shoot them seven times. So it just uh, kind of feels off, in my opinion. I supposedly have pretty good internet, but I also don't trust Xfinity. So maybe it's my internet, who knows? But again, just like I referred to in my first point, this is all personal opinion, but if this game just allowed me to play offline, I would probably not have that issue at all. Now, I said that this game offers a lot of variety in quests, and that is certainly true. However, I do feel like the quality of them does not compare to Fallout 4. Fallout 4's quest felt a lot more fleshed out. Each of them really had like a story that you were delving into. It had some funny side quests. I don't really feel like that's the case with this game. My absolute biggest complaint about this game is in between quest, exploring this world is unfortunately not very fun. It's very, very empty. Um, I've heard that that was the biggest complaint and I know that they've added things to it and it's not like brutal but when you're just navigating in between it's there's not really anything that incentivizes you to explore and it's kind of a shame that is just kind of weird for me after playing Fallout games because I'm used to the opposite of exploring everywhere and always getting rewarded for it. It just feels like something is missing about this game like they could just add a few more things a few more layers to this game and it might feel a bit more complete but overall it really feels like an mmo fetch quest game and less like a fallout looter game definitely less like fallout 4. i'm pretty early on into this game so my opinion could change but in conclusion this is a really safe bet for fallout mmo fans if you are a fan of both of those things this game is certainly for you if you are a fan of either just Fallout or just MMOs, I would still recommend giving this game a shot. You very well might enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know what's the next game that I should try. I was thinking of either trying Elder Scrolls Online, Elden Ring again, or Dragon's Dogma. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.